Believe it or not, the size of the dashes in our line types is also affected by our scale factor. So if we want our hidden lines, center lines, and phantom lines to look the same on all our printed drawings, we need to know how to properly set our LT scale. Now I've got a drawing on my screen. If you'd like to open the same drawing, this guy's located inside the chapter 15 folder inside the exercise files directory. And this drawing is called number 10, properly setting your LT scale. Now this is a civil engineering example. I've got a drawing of a parking lot. And what I've done is I've created a layout. I've set this up such that I can plot this drawing and fax it to my client. I'm using this drawing as an example because it contains a dashed style line type. Take a look right here. We can see our center line. Now I'm going to go down and I'm going to bring up our quick view layouts tool. Let me come down and click the icon. We'll bring that guy up on screen. And I'm going to check that my push pin is pressed in such that these previews stay on the screen. Now take a look at this line type on my layout. Now let's jump to model space. Take a look at the line type here. It appears to be microscopic. Let me back up just a little bit. Now you may be wondering why our line types look so much smaller in model space. In the big scheme of things, our line types are represented in both places at the same size. The difference being that on my layout tab, my geometry is being represented so much smaller, it makes my line type look bigger. Okay, so that's understandable. Every time I plot from a layout, my line types are going to look great. But what if I go to my model space? What if I wanted to create a plot from here? How can I make my line types look good here? Let me back up just a little bit. We're going to look at a system variable called LT scale. LT scale controls the scale of our line types. Now you would think a system variable could be changed through our options dialog box. Unfortunately not. The only way to change LT scale is by typing it at the command line. So I'm going to move down to my command line and click, and we'll type LT scale. Let me hit enter, and we can see that by default, our line type scale factor is set to 1. Well, if I'm plotting from model space, what should I set my LT scale to? Well, it depends on the scale we want to print the drawing. You see, if we plot from model space, we want our LT scale to match the scale factor of our plot. If I was going to plot this drawing at 1 to 30, my scale factor would be 30. So my line type scale should be set to 30. Let me type 30 and hit enter. Notice my line types now look correct. All right, let's go back to our layout. Let me click and notice they look terrible here. Here's the rule of thumb. If you're going to plot from model space, your LT scale should equal the scale factor of your plot. When plotting from a layout, your LT scale will always be set to one. Let's set this guy back to one. Now, since we have to type it in, I'm gonna give you a little shortcut. The only thing that we have to type is LTS. And when we hit enter, it brings up our line type scale. LTS is just a shortcut to the system variable. Let me set this guy back to one and hit enter. And now our line types look great on our layout. Knowing how to properly set your LT scale will guarantee that your line types are predictably sized no matter how you plot, whether you're making a quick plot from model space or using a layout.